Hi, this is Muzammil, and in today's video, I'll talk about data aggregation in SPSS. Data aggregation is used in many situations. For example, when you're trying to change the level of your data, or when you're trying to change the unit of analysis of your data. Now, the unit of measurement of your data might be human beings, let's say managers in a company but you want your unit of analysis to be firm, to be the company level. Now that's where you use aggregation. You aggregate the data of managers in that firm and turn it into a firm level data. Now this is one use of aggregation. In science research, a particular construct might need more than one observation per subject for the measurement to be accurate. Again, we use data aggregation there. In this video, I have this hypothetical data. This is not true data at all. I'm saying this because I've used names of some real companies here. So I have nine companies here from 1 to 30. You can see that these managers belong to Intel company. So, uh, I have 30 managers, 30 managers from Intel who responded to my questionnaire. They responded to my questions which are here like CPC1, CPC2 and so on and so forth. So, these are responses from managers from Intel to my questionnaire. And from 31 onwards to 61 are the answers to my questionnaire by managers from another company called Microsoft and then are the answers of managers from Apple then from Dell then from HP, Acer, Panasonic and it goes on and on so what I'm trying to do here is that I'm trying to aggregate the data I'm trying to combine the data which was collected from managers of each firm so like I said before I have nine companies here at the end, end, I'll have data aggregated and I'll have data from nine companies only, but the data of the managers within those companies would be aggregated. So we'll take an average of that. How do we do that in SPSS? The first thing we do is to click on data here and then we'll click on aggregate here. And in here, I'll put the variables for which I want the aggregated data. Let's say I want aggregated data for these variables CPC1 till CPF7. These are about I think 20 variables. So I'll put them in aggregated variables column here. Summaries of variables. And break variable, now this is very important. Break variable means the variable which you use to break this data or which you use to classify this data. In simple words, it simply means the variable which you use uh, which you use to break this data. In our case, it's the company name. Remember Intel, Microsoft, etc. So that is the break variable. The variable we use to break our data. So that's the break variable here. Now we might want to take a look at these options also. Uh, it says that you can write a new data file containing only the aggregated variables. That's if you click this one. But normally I prefer creating a new data set containing only the aggregated variables. And I'll name this data set, let's say, new data set. And after I'm done with that, I'll click OK. And then there we go. We have the new data set here. Now observe that I got nine companies here. Now these responses are the mean of responses by the managers from these firms. So the, the responses have been aggregated. Now once that is done, our data is now firm level. The unit of analysis can be firm level and we can continue 
processing this data and conducting analysis that we need to conduct. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.